Also this new time, Warwick's school committee has voted to consolidate two elementary schools, but not until 2018. Parents and teachers are against it. Pushback against the plan is growing. My News reporter Jared Pliner working the story live at the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. Patrick, good afternoon. Well, we are at the one of the schools slated for eventual closure. closure. This is Randall Holden Elementary, and it's kind of a little loud here because it is recess time. Last night, however, emotional pleas with concerns and about class size of leaving students behind. Disgusted, completely disgusted. Parents, teachers, and students who came out in a last ditch effort to sway the Warwick School Committee, angered by the outcome Tuesday night. The committee voting to move forward with consolidating some city elementary schools, but not immediately. The sixth grade transition would come next school year, but closing Randall Holden and John Wicks Elementary would not happen until the 2018 2019 school year. Under the plan, John Brown Francis would become an early childhood center. One committee member voted no. Consolidation opponents point to last year's shutdown of a high school and two junior highs. They made a huge mess out of secondary consolidation, and they are certainly not ready to do anything with elementary. It's no secret in Warwick, we, as in most other communities, there's declining student enrollment. And to have 16 or 17 elementary schools with a population of less than half of what we're used to in the late 80s and early 90s, we were at 20,000. We're, we're now just hovering above eight. Furtado says not promptly moving forward with consolidation is going to cost the district significantly. We're going to have to find the money on our budget to, to make it happen. As for whether there could be teacher layoffs. I can't answer that. And one brand of sign in the audience last night calling for a teacher's contact. One has contract. One has not been in place since two August ago. For now, live with the mobile newsroom, I'm Jared Plato, Eyewitness News.